Welcome to Arizona Gardening with Robin Sherry. Hello everyone and welcome to Gardening with Robin, Arizona this year. Been a tough year, a real tough year. Between the freezes early in the winter and now it's just the beginning of April. And uh, I'm going to uh, show you in this video uh, us pulling our beets out of the corner here. And then also we replaced them with radishes and it's been a couple of days so I'll show you Sherry planting the radishes and then also just a few days and they're already coming up. Hi guys welcome to Rob's Gardening here. Today is a great day because we're gonna pull my beets down here and uh, Sherry's gonna film for me but I just thought uh, we didn't want our beets to get too big because Sherry doesn't like beets. <laughs> so we want to pull all these uh, beets out and then we're going to replace them with radishes. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So let's let's start pulling. I'm kind of curious to see how my beets did this year. So so it's kind of funny that leaves are are kind of deceiving. Like you see these short leaves, you wouldn't think it's a very big beet, but when you pull them out, pretty good sized little beet. So, so let's see what else we got in here. That's not a very good beat. And that's not a very big beat. Funny, you got a couple in here that didn't really take this year. Then we get this guy. Cinder. Pretty good sized beat. I don't know. Not too bad. But you're gonna, these sizes are just right for us because there's a good one. <laughs> uh oh. Stole one of your carrots, Mom. Well, there's one there. That one's not too big. Good for us. There's a good one. That's a beet. Cinder now. Now the little one. After we cleared the beets out, Sherry decided to plant some radishes. She's putting two radish seeds in per hole and she just used her little finger. So uh, in a little bit here, we'll show you what it looks like after only three or four days. They're already coming out of the ground. So the rough things we've had this year was uh, getting tomatoes started, getting cucumbers started, um, getting uh, broccoli has been frustrating because I tried to do an early plant and with the freeze and everything it confused them and they went to flower. So I'm trying to start some new um, broccoli from seed and you'll be able to see the little uh, starters in the garden. I don't know. If I'm too late or not, we'll find out. We've been doing really good on the sweet peas behind me, right there. Uh, tons of sweet peas. We've been eating them for dinner a lot. Uh, the beets, we uh, canned four little jars because uh, if you see in the video, I didn't want very many and I didn't let my beets get too big. But we did can them and uh, looking forward to uh, how those taste. Uh, cucumbers are just now starting to fire up, but it seems a little late. Uh, but we'll see how they do. And I put new uh, uh, fences around, new fences in, and I clipped a little, have little doors in them so I can reach inside. But I'm going to try to go vertically with my cucumbers uh, along with my strawberry uh, tomatoes too to go vertically, and I keep them supported. So uh, yeah, well it's been a tough year. Uh, last year we really nailed it, but this year has been a little rough. So uh, uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I have a few things going to flower. My butternut crunch is going to flower. I uh, might try uh, some more starters uh, just to get a few more months before it gets too hot and uh, go from there. But yeah, um, rough year. Bell peppers um, doing really well. I have a lot of uh, flowers on my 
uh, jalapeno peppers so I should be getting some peppers and I'm also uh, got some Swiss chard that had a rough start but it's starting to take off so I'm looking forward to having some Swiss chard the last thing I wanted to tell you about is um, for the first time for me in Sherry we were eating the beet greens and they are really really good we got a lot of beet greens so we got about three meals out of it um, I like to cook them with um, mushrooms and garlic and butter and onions and uh, cook it just like uh, cook it just like spinach so pretty good stuff so that's how it's going this year rough year um, but uh, it's still been fun we've had a uh, uh, lots of goodies out of the garden but uh, as far as broccoli eat. <laughs> this year I'm looking forward to my strawberries exploding and getting I just put all my strawberries in one bin right here and I'm starting to get flowers all over the place we've been getting some strawberries here and there and they're just delicious but it should be kind of fun uh, we should be getting lots of strawberries this year as it warms up I'm expecting this thing to explode with strawberries Anyway, I hope that was fun for you guys to see, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, boy, if you ever get a chance to come down here in Arizona, uh, growing things is a kick in the butt. So anyway, guys, have a great day. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Then go down to the description and think about becoming a member of our Patreon. This will allow you to get special content just for you and help us build future content. Thank you.